Hello and welcome to another episode of me painting again. For this episode you need a brush and some acrylic paint. And also you need some foil card, of course. That's what we're using. It's foil card, also known as rainbow card. And uh, we're going to be doing our nice morning scene that I actually saw this morning using the rainbow card to do some of the uh, trickery that we we struggle a bit with the acrylics. Well, you can't really get this exact effect in a painting. So I thought, well, why not experiment a little bit? And the mirror card works for me. So I needed a little bit of white paint, I realized when I uh, got myself uh, all set up and I was raring to go. because I've been uh, thinking about painting this all day while I've been at work. <laughs> and. Uh, and here we go, got a little bit of white in there, a little bit of white in my mixture. I'm just, just using uh, a palette that I had in the fridge. If you spray your paint with a bit of water, cover it with cling film, put it in the fridge, it lasts a little bit longer. This is another day, it's a day, another day old paint. It's two days. I think it's two day old paint <laughs> and it's still okay. So hopefully my camera makes this. <laughs> it's a bit of a struggle with the uh, with the card. So I'm painting in some cloud shapes. As a when I was on my way to work, the uh, the sun had just started to come out. Just it's really early, and there was this great big cloud, and this the the sky was lit up all around it. I was like, whoa, that is brilliant. That is one of these skies that blows you away a little bit. And I thought, hmm, hmm, mirror card. <laughs> or foil card. This is, um, I got this foil card from Hobbycraft. That's what they call it anyway, on the packet. So I'm just uh, putting in my sky. Like I said, I'm only using a few colours. Some burnt umber, some ultramarine blue, and some cadmium red, and that, and, and a little bit of titanium white. And I'm just changing the uh, mixture a little bit and get, getting, getting this uh, paint on here. And you need to use a fair bit of paint to cover the foil -y surface which is not the greatest surface to paint on but if you want the effect <laughs> you kind of accept the um, the funny slippery surface <laughs> now you have to angle yourself so the uh, the shine of the foil doesn't blind you <laughs> So I was getting all kinds of rainbow effects while I was painting it and I was like trying to ignore it in a way as I'm painting. But marvelling at it at the same time. I think this is a great idea. I don't know if this, I'm sure this has been done before, but I've, I've never seen it so it's unique and new to me. <laughs> So like I said, I'm just going for the darks. I'm using round strokes in areas like there just to try and get that cloudy shape, that fluffy, big cloud shape. And I'm leaving some gaps in between where the light is going to pass through because that's what it was like. This is what it was like when I was, I was driving down the road getting that going to work feeling, you know, the, uh, oh. <laughs> but this this uh, scene just made my day. And I was like, oh, that is brilliant. That's just what I need. That's just what I want to paint. And it, it's kept me uh, excited all day. <laughs> Been looking forward to painting this. And uh, I'm really happy. 
really happy. You know how sometimes you do a painting, it just makes you happy. And this is one of those, it just made me really happy. And uh, that's good. That's why I started doing paintings and drawings to put a smile on my face. <laughs> and I enjoy it. It's fun. I, 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 and if you make a few quid out of it, then great. But if you enjoy it and you're happy doing it, then that's the main thing, I think. That's what, that's what keeps me doing it. So I'm just putting in some under, under the cloud. <laughs> I feel like I'm stroking the belly of the cloud when I'm doing this. <laughs> you can use any brush doing this, by the way. You don't have to use what I'm using. Use any. I'm using a, if you're wondering, it's a graduate brush. It's quite cheap, a couple of quid. So if you think about it, you could uh, be set up and doing the, doing these style paintings and not spending that much money, really. And uh, I think if you're in a, a touristy place, <laughs> these would go quite well, I'm pretty sure. So I'm putting in the the flat ground. Now this area is just farmland and it's just flat. Flat as a pancake. <laughs> so I'm just blocking it in. I don't mind that some of it's not covering too well. It doesn't bother me. You can get some different effects. You could even uh, do a, a river and you could leave that to catch the light. You could just not paint it. Or you, I mean, there's so much you can do with this technique using uh, using this card. Uh, it's, it's exciting to think about all the things you can do. But I did this one, so I thought I'd show you. <laughs> Might get you inspired. I like to try and uh, get you inspired to do something new. Something you've never done before. Have you ever painted on foil card before? Have you got a set of acrylics? Are you ready to have a go at this? I know I was. So I'm grabbing some of my mixture, a bit of blue, a bit of brown, a bit of red. I just want to make this dark because the reality was, it was, it was just dark. The, the ground was really dark. The clouds had a little bit of a lighterness to it than the the ground, but not not a massive difference, just a little bit. The only thing that really glowed was the sky. <laughs> the good thing as well about this uh, foil card is different places, you can put it in different places in the room on the wall and it catches the light at different angles and you get all different effects. I mean look at it now, it's got like this nice glow just under that cloud. It's got like purples and reds and bits of green. And it makes the painting almost alive. Now there's this tree here. <laughs> there's a few trees along along the side of the road it blocks the view I just thought I'd put one there just to show you and it adds a little bit of depth to the painting that's where that tree is I could have used some pure black for that tree to really make it stand out <laughs> but I thought it would be alright like this Bit of blue and brown. You can just about see the difference there. Just wash my brushes and uh, sit back, have a look. And there we go. There's the uh, finished painting.
Hope you enjoyed this episode. It was a short one, but it gives you an idea of what you could do if you get some foil card and a few acrylic paints. So thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you in another one. Cheers, bye.